What's the uh, other called lobster? Second one was tuna and watermelon ceviche. Uh, the third one is the uh, Asian guacamole wrapped in the hikama with pepper ginger on it. And then here we're doing the uh, with la coche ravioli with goat cheese and tequila foam. <laughs> and then we're doing a four glass land. Wow. There you go. Thank you. Pleasure. Yeah.
Every day, we don't add any dairy or any sugars or sweeteners. We're, to your point, we're serving health, right? So we're thinking about all the decadence that you may have had throughout the course of your day, and now really kind of getting your body back on track, at least providing it with the nutrients that it needs to get back on track. On the other hand, I could take this as a form over there. To seven fathoms, there you go. Which is where we there take you go. There you go. But what, what, what do we have here? We have a carrot-based blend. We have a pineapple-based blend, and we have a watermelon. When you say watermelon base, it blends with There's the blend. There's a pineapple, blend. Pineapple. Pineapple, oh, pineapple, nice. green apple, and cucumber. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, that's delicious. Awesome. Rolls cut. We'll get it in our red bait. Yes, sir. We, I mean, when you're driving down in the evenings, over 60 years combined experience here. So these guys know what they're doing. And um, that's what makes it. And we're passionate about our food as well. Yeah. So um, and we continue improving. So we started about two years ago to where it is now. And we've created some really nice sauces today. And um, we're pretty excited for you to try those. I'm excited to be here. I have to say I was about, you know, I've been in the restaurant business and cooking food professionally for, for a long time before I started doing this, whatever it is. Uh, and I don't know, I was about, I don't know, 20 feet away. And I, I started to come over here and I looked at, oh, okay, wait a minute. Those are some motherfucking professionals right there. The, 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 <laughs> these gentlemen, <laughs> they're not messing around. You, you guys have clearly been doing what you've been doing for a long time. I know this is going to be good. Is that for me? Yes, we have that seal there for you. Uh -huh. This sauce here carries bragging rights to it. Okay? We call that dynamite. It's either going to give you a warm time or blow your mind. So. <laughs> That's the dynamite sauce. Do your worst. <laughs> Experience, man. <laughs> you guys enjoying yourself? Now, there's no way to rush this. You gotta take your time. Yes, that's it. It's slow jacket. The, the, the fire's got the. What do you, you marinate it? We marinate it and uh, we, we cook it on the, on the slow temperature. Jerk, the chicken is a little bit more forgiving okay, because right. we can put more direct heat on it. But right. the, the pork, we got to give it a, a, um, a little bit more time and lower heat right. so that it comes out that way. Right. So what you're looking for in somebody who, who, who prepares this, you're, you're looking for somebody who not, doesn't just understand flavor, Thank you. But they understand fire. That they is understand it. how to control that heat. Somebody with character, who cares, who's going to take time, who understands, you've got to be patient, can't rush it, got to do it right. That and takes that, a special sort it, of person. It takes, it takes a special person. This guy, a Tiger, is one of my main guys. He started the business with me, and I, I, it's, it's hard for me to see somebody else coming up with him on the grill. He's very good at what he does as well. And this is Max. Max used to be working at Scotch's in Jamaica, so this is lots of experience. He's, he's, 
at, uh, at that sauce here as well as some other stuff, some barbecue we're doing on Tuesdays as well. So um, we take it from them. Marlon is, is very good at customer service. He's also very good at cooking as well. So we've got good flexibility built within the team. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's great. All right, we'll enjoy. Okay, talk to you later. I like it. You take away the lobster and the shrimp. I eat anything. You want any of the sides? Oh, of course. Like one of You can, yeah. yeah. He's making a lot of fun. Yes, good meat. Very Dynamite is the milder. Dynamite sauce. pepper in there. We've got like a nice red pepper here. And then I'm going to talk about what really makes these this comb salad different. Like this comb salad, I do different ceviches back in Florida as well. And uh, we try to replicate some of the flavors of what we do here in um, the islands. Now, this is called julienne. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this. If you ever watch kind of TV cooking, it's just cutting and making a thin slice of the pepper. What I did off of the pepper too is I took the pith off. That's this part here. It tends to be more acidic. And so uh, you just kind of crack through that. And when you crack through that, you can take kind of more dull knife at that point and then cut that end. And that, that end that goes back up there that connects it, you're, you're cutting that off. And the pump, um, in theory, will just come popping right out, I think. <laughs> in theory. I'm just shooting but, uh, right here. Oh, yeah, they, uh, there you go. So, um, but you know, the comb is really beautiful. I don't know if you guys have seen. They've got the comb does have uh, does have a pearl, so uh, it's a lot more expensive pearl than a than an oyster pearl because of the fact that it's uh, it's more rare. Uh, a comb pearl, I think, there's like um, I don't know the actual numbers, but uh, um, it's nowhere near as uh, happens often. That's okay. That's okay, you got it. So, uh, so the uh, the bone itself, um, it tends to be very. Uh, it can it, it can be like it can be uh, very tough. Obviously, you can see like beautiful, right? And um, yeah, can that's way back in the shell at one point. The, the muscle will tighten up. He's down here full time on property. My executive yeah. chef. Tell them what you've got. So here we have uh, two deep water snappers. We usually catch them around 800 to 1200 feet. And this is called a satin snapper. And this is called a pot pie. This is great for like cooking. And we use this a lot for ceviche and stuff like that. This one's a little fattier, so it's really good for cooking. And this is a little bit more lean and tender. So we use this one for uh, ceviche. Yeah, what's really unique too about